here's our our finished product after we pulled out the Can-Am converted this garage into our little cute comfy cozy home on wheels away from home this is our dining area um, another table setup goes goes here as well but I wanted to keep a, a a nice walkway to the patio area and it's just me and Shane eating so we only need one table and that's even if we eat inside a little den area a little kitchen You know, the difference between a toy hauler and our last uh, fifth wheel Montana is that we traded we traded up some luxuries. And one of the luxuries is that we don't have the same amount of storage as we did in the Montana. And our seating area, none of these chairs are recliners. So I picked up these little uh, footstools off of Amazon and they also double as storage. <laughs> I got some water and some washcloths in there. I always try to put a very comfy cozy signature on my setup. Some wine and whiskey for later. Always always have to have a little bit of aesthetic in my RV. Something that makes a statement. <laughs> oh, and my little Scentsy warmer. By the way, I, I, I Scentsy everywhere we go. Oh, check out the wind. Ooh, dust. Here's our bedroom, comfy cozy. Our uh, drawers and our wardrobe is a slide out. Storage, just, just not as much storage as in our fifth wheel Montana. And bathroom, once you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? Okay. Something to to remember if you decide to get a toy hauler is that um, storage is very high inside. I'm only five feet tall, which is why I have that stool. I have uh, the top shelves in my my kitchen cabinets here they're empty because I just can't reach even with the stool there's a, a top bunk up there and this is what these stairs these this ladder is for but I've been known to use them to get up into here <laughs> not as much storage as I had in my uh, my last fifth wheel my non toy hauler and um, my husband was also complaining how uh, even the the underbelly storage, it's not as it's not the amount that we're used to having with our previous fifth wheel. So those are the things that we've traded when we went from a luxury fifth wheel to a toy hauler, also that we could accommodate my husband's midlife crisis I wanted a boat but hey I'm having a lot of fun with this so we're just gonna be chilled right now later on I'm gonna do some uh, camping uh, sorry some cooking outside on my tripod cooking at Camping cooking for me is like driving a stick shift Corvette. 
it's all about the experience, right? I could I could cook inside on my my kitchen here, but I'm camping. I'm boondocking, so it's all about the experience. So I'm gonna cook outside, cook on my tripod, come up with something yummy. I'll show you. Changing it up a little bit tonight. Shane got really hungry, so decided to just use the Camp Chef and make a very easy shrimp alfredo. Let the sauce thicken a little bit and then we're gonna pour it over some linguine. Nice and thick. Woohoo! Pasta boiling. 